this thing called being whitewashed now the meaning of that varies depending on who you talk to or where you go to find that meaning but overall it's supposed to work like a power of suggestion type thing like one person got a piss now all of a sudden you got a piss too but one of those various meanings is having like interest as white people so let me tell y'all what I think being whitewashed is since it can, it, it can vary depending on where you go or who you talk to now as most of us know there was a time in this country where racist white people would take sticks, fists, bricks and bottles and beat black people away from these voting polls but today you got black people that's taking those same fists, sticks, bricks and bottles and beating black people away from those voting polls but with words though because a lot of times words can be just as if not more powerful than fists, sticks, bottles and bricks and what these words are saying stuff like voting is bullshit, your vote don't matter, black people shouldn't vote, they're selected, not elected, they're selected, not elected, and that shit has been continuously pounded into niggas' heads for decades. Seriously, take a look at all the videos that pop up by black people around election time discouraging black people not to vote or reinforcing the idea of not voting that a nigga already had. I've seen folks that ain't done videos in a while come off that vacation just to say don't vote eager to do the same job that white racists used to have to do for themselves and that's what I call being whitewashed not the Carlton Banks type nigga that speaks the King's English no whitewashed meaning niggas that have like interest of racist white people even when a black person comes out and says that they are not willing to hate an entire people of another race it makes you niggas angry when you hear that because you figure that if scumbag behavior is good enough for racist white people then it should be good enough for black people therefore you are the ones that have been whitewashed as soon as a nigga say something out of the common mindset of the black people that upload these blame videos then it's oh you think like the white man or oh you've been whitewashed especially when somebody talks about not making excuses so taking responsibility and not pointing fingers must be a white thing according to too many niggas that speak on here the niggas say something like we can't be blaming other people for our actions and we need to take responsibility then it's oh you trying to be the white man's bitch or having certain perspectives on things meaning you're siding with white people like for example I heard this one dumb bitch say that the reason Bob Marley was popular is because his daddy was white ain't that about a bitch no, never mind people's own ears that enjoys the man's music. No, it only sounds good because his daddy was white. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all be saying some dumbass shit on here for real. The white guilt trip. Or in other words, oh, you think like the white man. I've questioned you jackasses that call yourselves gods and goddesses. And I've asked y'all, how is it that y'all are gods when y'all can do nothing that only gods are known to do? Why can't y'all do this? Why can't y'all do that? Then it's, oh, you got the white man's understanding of what a god is. One lady told me that she's a goddess because she can make babies. Well, so can a butterfly, you stupid bitch. Or how you a god because you got a big penile gland that connects you to other galaxies and shit. The fuck out of here. And y'all say dumb shit like that because y'all's understanding of how to be a god is to fucking merely call yourselves one. And y'all hide your nonsensical God status by saying that I think like the white man. And I've seen many other people told that same thing after they questioned y'all on this bullshit. Now more on the white guilt trip. Like being educated in the public school system. Oh, we being educated by the white man. And we are made to feel guilty about that. But when I look at y'all argue over bullshit like what the word black means, it says that y'all have nothing better to offer. You niggas can't even agree on how to spell or pronounce the names of your gods and messiahs. So why should someone feel guilty about receiving a diploma from a university? At least the people that make the curriculum here were able to sit down at the table and formulate one, even though they came from different backgrounds, Irish, German, Polish, etc., etc. But y'all can't sit down at the table and agree on shit long enough to formulate a curriculum that y'all think we should have. So again, why should anyone feel guilty about receiving the white man's education, as y'all put it? Are you listening to me? Are you thinking? No applause. No emotion. Really sit back and and just be just get in a quiet room and just think about our situation. Really look at it. 
Some of us are not looking at the whole picture. We're only looking up, looking at what we want. It's not about what I want. Woo! The Uncle Tom, the Sambo, they always talk about, I bring the facts. Oh, Talik, snuffed up seven, you don't bring no facts. Bring facts from where? Their facts come from racist statistics, come from their slave master. My facts come from living experience. My facts come from the intellectuals that are black like myself who understand the situation and how we got where we are today. You don't understand that. Every time you turn around, these sambos, these guard dogs, they question black intelligence. They question black research because the Caucasian people, it's not in the Caucasian book. The pink people, you can't verify with pink information. They don't under, and you don't think something wrong with you? They never mention our ancestors. They believe that our ancestors would approve of loving those people and their children who raped them, lynched them, stole their money, stole their land. They want us to be loyal to a, a country. They want us to be better so that we can be better Negroes to benefit Caucasian people, not ourselves.
and he makes this big issue out of the fact I don't show my face, none of which has anything to do with the opinions I'm expressing. All it is is a bunch of diversionary tactics and personal attacks, not even clever personal attacks, just childish name calling. And that's all because Angel knew he couldn't meet me on an intellectual level and actually refute the arguments I was making. He knew that if he was going to respond at all, all he could do was yell, scream, call me names, and and make a big issue out of my pictures. So I make a response video demonstrating that his responses are nothing more than personal attacks and diversionary tactics and they're completely illogical and irrational and what does he do? He repeats the same diversionary tactics and personal attacks. He goes on to talk about how he has so many more subscribers and friends than me. What the fuck does that have to do with any of the arguments I was making? Nothing. I would try to treat you uh, with honor and respect, just like I want to be treated. But you have these people, they can't be civil and courted to save their lives. They want to force their idea on you. You ain't going to force nothing here. Take your non-educational, non-intelligent, backwards, profane, vile, nasty self somewhere else. We don't have time for you. You can't run. You can't hide. And I'll be waiting on your ass. You can't hide from the real truth. I'm the black dragon, breathing fire toward the wicked and the cowardly trolls and the nigger trash dark Europeans. Peace to the ones on the side of right.